Hello, we from the plush here, back with another video. Today we are going over, finally, my Five Nights at Freddy's 10th Anniversary August 2024 Room Tour. This is slightly incomplete. I'll probably do a TFP update on this afterwards. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, to start off on top, we have the Christmas Collection of Five Nights at Freddy's. We have Gingerbread Foxy, Nutcracker Foxy for the standouts, and, you know, Elf Bonnie, Santa Freddy, you know, Snow Chica, etc. This wave is quite unique and all that, but then you have some pint-sized heroes in the front row of the 2021 advent calendar. Going down to FNAF 1, we have is the plushies with U2's Golden Freddy plushie. This is basically all the wave 1 besides Toy Freddy and Shadow Freddy, which you'll see later. The two animatronic plushies, yes, I was able to get one of these back. Reversible heads, Hero World, Funko Racer from 2018, I think, 2018 or 2017. The little um, pint size heroes, the action figures, the mystery minis, and the fight line. Here's another look. I'm just trying to make this as quick, and po quick as possible. We don't need to go into that much detail. Alright, new section here. New section here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's basically YouTube section. We have two shoulder riders of Freddy and the Cupcake. Then we have Freddy Bonnie Chica Foxy standing, and then the Haunted Wave right here. Going down another, we have is the Hex plushies that are sitting down. We have Chica, Freddy, and Bonnie. This is supposed to be like how they are in the main show stage, where Bonnie is on the left, Chica's on the right, and Freddy's in the middle. Then we have the Hex cards that I currently own in front of them. Yes, including the exclusive Golden Bonnie, aka Golden Spring Bonnie. Then we have Balloon Boy. Just gonna call out the standouts, Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. Then going down here, we have is the sitting iterations, which I have made, all made reviews on. If you're interested, I'll try to link them down below. Then you have the Funko Pops of the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 crew, including Flock Freddy. Yes, I have access to mostly bottom on my floor this time, but we have the Five Nights at Freddy's, Miscellaneous, Sanchi, um, Funko, U2's, etc. collection. Part, this is basically... A mishmash, we have all the Bitty Pops from Wave 1, the U2s from Wave 1 plus Golden Freddy, we have the, you know, giant 13.5 inch action figures, we have the Sanchi plushies in here, Popsies, Dog Tags, Freddy and Bonnie, My Mojis, Candy Dispenser, the 2 inch figures that were, like, probably, like, very, very standout for over time, especially Golden Freddy. Going back up, we have his Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we have his The Puppet. Toy Freddy, the Toy Animatronics with Balloon Boy, the Cupcake with the Toy Chica Dog Tag, Mangle, Endo, more Mangle, more Toy Freddy, more Toy Freddy Balloon Boy and all that. Ironically, this is like mostly from Mystery Bags, and we have the Purple Guy Sprite with the, you, you know, the U2's Purple Guy Sprite, and we have the Funko Racers in the front, Funtime Foxy Action Figure, Funtime Foxy or Toy Foxy. Funko Pop, we have this, the pins from Chloe's Cove and Hot Topic, the, the fo Wivered Foxy one that has the swirls around it is from Hot Topic, the rest are from Chloe's Cove, then we have the Shadow Freddy fight line. Alright, going down one we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Wivered section, we have the X Mark, Wivered Freddy, Wivered Bonnie, Wivered Chica, and Wivered Foxy, then we have basically all the minis from the from the full sets, this is from AR, the mangle is, the full mangle, like, you know, the whole damaged one, sorry. I'm just missing Wivered Bonnie from the original set, then after that I have basically all of them. Going down here to Five Nights at Freddy's Free, this is now starting to be one of my favorite sections. Yes, it doesn't look the greatest, but still looks okay, okay for what the space I have. We have a Shadow Freddy, Fredbear from x -Mart. this is from Punko. One of the rarest plushies, and no matter how, how, no matter the condition. Then we have Spring Bonnie, Spring Trap, Phantoms, and a Tie Dye Spring Trap. There is another Tie Dye. Trust me, it's over rare. So about the third cut, we have a lot of interferences with cars and stuff like that. We have the Shadow Freddy Mini, Hero World of the Spring Trap and Phantom Foxy, the two Funko Puffs, one being the original, one being the Glow in the Dark. U2 is a purple guy, and U2 is a spring trap. Alright, Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We have here is the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 animatronics. We have the nightmares. All the ones that Funko has created. Then we have the action figures of all the ones they have created. 
and you know the Fre Nightmare Freddy or Slash Freddle arcade vinyl. You have all the Nightmare animatronics from their Wave 2 set, and you have the Hero Worlds, one Pint Size Hero, and one Funko Racer. And then the Nightmare Mangle Mystery Man, which I got from MCU Funko Collector, shout out to him. Then we have Nightmare Owen in the middle. I'm just missing Nightmare Balloon Boy for the Mystery Minis, that's practically it. So here's another overview. This one is quite impressive, I would say, because like it looks really, really good. It's mostly the same as how you saw it last time, just shifted over to a different section. Alright, in the theme of Nightmares, we have the Twisted Ones. So the Twisted Ones here we have is, you know, just basic Twisted Gang plus Wolf, Stanley, the Unicorn, and then Theodore. Those are three new additions. Everything else is like Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. We have is the Mystery Minis in the front of Twisted Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Wolf, Theodore. Then we have the Pops. These are my currently only open bot ones. Well, I did have these originally sealed, but like I took them out. But like, like this is back in like two years ago when I took them out and destroyed their boxes. It was like honestly, I was taking up way too much space, and I don't blame people for you know not keeping Funko boxes. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights 12 book case. Then we have the Ella, Theodore, and Stanley. Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pops. Then we have a Fetch Pin from Fazbear Frights from Chloe's Cove. Alright, going back to the sister location, practically nothing has changed, honestly. I would say nothing has changed to a point. Because, like, all of these have stayed the same, basically. Only the thing I can think of is the new addition, which you can probably see in a second. And I have added Ballora and the Butters. Um, yeah, here's the minis in the front. Funko Racers. Hero Worlds in the backpack. I'm from the Meme Scheme. Shout out to him, a great guy. We had the plushies in the back. Then in the Butters, we have is the Mini Arenas, which is the newest addition to my collection. One of the rarest minis too, but I had to buy them broken, broken and painted on, because like I'm not paying $600 for a mini, that's ridiculous. We have Ballora and Jumpscare Ballora. Enter the simulator, we have this state has this has basically stayed the same with Pizzeria Simulator. Plushies in the back, action figures in the front. Mystery minis in front of the action figures. This is basically the full set, just missing just missing Fruit Punch Clown, which I should have made Afton instead of Fruit Punch Clown. I would have been selling a lot better, honestly. Then the Silly Soup Fruit Punch Clown. Then down here we have is the Mediocre Melodies plus L Chip. We have the Funko Pops in front of those, Rockstar Foxy, most of the Mediocres, then Lefty. Then you have the Glow in the Dark Minis with, you know, L Chip, Funtime Chica, Pig Patch, Orville. Happy Frog 2, well, one Air Helpy and one Original Helpy. Rockstar Foxy, yeah, just basically the rock stars. Then entering Curse of Dreadbear, we have is the Dreadbear Wave. We have Dreadbear, Jacobani, Grim Foxy, Captain Foxy, Glitch Trap, and the same thing is with the U2s, except the only addition here is would be Shadow Mangle, but I'm still tempting, I'm still debating if I should really take that out or not. Considering you know it's very fragile, it's very frail and all that, so I don't know if I'm going to take that out. Take that out. I might just keep these on here as is. We had the four night, no, three nightmares of the Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Fox. No, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. I don't have Foxy yet. And over here we have is the Curse of Dreadbear plushies, all of them, including Mini Dreadbear. All right, last of the main shelves here we have is the statue shelf. Nothing much of this has changed. I just added black lights. I think I was on here the last time, and I have the craftables. I think I added fidget spinners and the, you know, like um, the yeah, and the fig pen. It's just, that's in a different section, and the moon and the vanning ones are in a different section. Going down one, if it's just basically stayed the same, the only thing different about them is like Chica, Monty, and Roxy's poses. Everything else has basically stayed the same as last time. Really nothing much to go over. If you want to see this in more detail, check, my, check out my January 2024 room tour. This area has slightly changed. It's basically the same as last time, except I added a, I added Muna base. That's basically it. And I have added the Craftables over here for Series 1 of the Craftables. Alright, then for the blackout slash black light section we have here is U2's figures. I gotta be really careful with these because like Chica started breaking for some reason. Chica 
started to break for some reason like if I lift this up like go back here and go back here her head started popping off I don't know why have no clue why maybe because it was on the floor too long but I should probably re-glue that just in case but yeah we have all the YouTube figures including burn trap I do have the wet floor bot but he's not currently out yet I have to review him still we have the blackout Funko security breach plushies with the moon um, this is going to get cleaned up later, but this is an overflow section. Then over here where his lamp is, I probably should move it somewhere else. Okay, Besi other than that, we have is a Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie Letty, Letty based hand puppets. I've heard from multiple accounts that these have lead in them, the more, you know, like... I guess, I guess the tie dyes would technically have this too, but I'm not entirely sure. But like I've heard that I have heard from multiple people, like from Johnny Blocks, my buddy FTF21, and a few others. But these these have lead in them, so be careful if you have these. Do not put do not put these in your mouth because they might have a dangerous amount of lead or just like a decent amount of lead. Do not eat these or do not play with these too much because they do have lead in them. And we have the advent calendar from 2021 over here. Entering ruin, it ruin entering the ruin pizza plex we have is. My to be reviewed section, we have Glamrock Bonnie the Goat, even though we barely saw him. Then we have the free action figures, and then the U2s in the back. Then over here we have is the black lights, we have is, you know, just your standard crew plus Glamrock Freddy being a photo negative slash black light, whatever you want to call it. Then we have the plushies in the back, Mr. all the mystery minis in the front, except for Spring Trap because he wouldn't fit because Balloon Boy has a really big balloon. We have the spring trap in the back, in the backish area. I mean, it kind of fits because it was in the back room for a long period of time, 30 years. Then we have the Foxy and Freddy Hero World going dark. Then we have is the spring colorway Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. Nothing much, and we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, and then no Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Freddy, and Toy Bonnie going dark figures that were released back in 2016. I don't care what you say, I see these as a, like a 1.5 wave, not a Series 2, honestly. These two came out in Series 1, this one just came out like like 2016 for no freaking reason. People keep forgetting that these exist, but it takes a lot of YouTubers to remind them about it. It's like, these things are so like weird, and honestly, it doesn't even look like FNAF merch, I would say. I mean, it looks like FNAF merch, but like at the same time, it doesn't. Blacklight Slimes, and then the advent calendar from 2021 with all the, you know, recolors. This was pretty abysmal, I would say, for 2021. All right, then we have the tie-dyes. Nothing much, honestly. This section has barely changed. We have the, you know, survive till 6 a.m. at the bottom, but we have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Springtrap. In front of all of us, we have the two jumbos, or medium-sized plushies. I want to call them jumbos. Because, like, we're only 10 inches, or only, like, Two, they feel like a little bit like more of two inches taller than these if you want to count Bonnie's ears. They're just a little bit thicker and stuff like that. Nothing much, honestly. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy and Bonnie, you know, like pocket pops. Then over here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's U2 section, section two for my Five Nights at Freddy's 2 section. We have is the puppet, the original release that sold out, Mangle. Limited Edition Plush, Toy Freddy, and then Toy Freddy with his raging face. Even though that's from UCN, there's nowhere else to put it, so I just keep him with Toy Freddy, and this was inspired by FNAF merch only. Plus, I think it was called on YouTube, but FNAF merch, um, what's it called? It was FNAF merch something, I don't remember the name exactly, but I'll try to link him down in the description below, if I can find it, if I can find his, you know, username on Instagram and YouTube. I'm pretty sure it was FNAF Merch Plus. Yeah, it might have been that. Then over here we have his Pop Pez Pack, 4 Pack, set 1 and 2 of the Black Lights, and a Nightmare Set, which is set free. Then we have the basic one, one piece of this set. One piece of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, separate from the 4 Pack. Then we have Fred Bear. I'm keeping this for 100%. Then up here we have is the Golden Bonnie, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's Hex plushies being Balloon Boy, Spring Bonnie, and Fredbear being Golden Bonnie. Then over here we have is the U2 section of figures, 
nothing much, honestly. Besides Freddy buying Chica Fox for the highlights, I put Shadow Mangle up here because, you know, she's fragile and stuff like that, or they are fragile. Glow in the Dark, Dreadbear, and Flock Bonnie. Going down to, we have is the McFarlane section. And I knocked something over, give me a second. Alright, as I was saying, there's a McFarlane section over here. I'm probably just gonna probably like put the sets in storage and put the main figures on display because this is taking up way too much space. Honestly, and the sets aren't even complete because there's some Lego parts in these. A lot, honestly. But yeah, we have basically all the sets. I don't have a toy stage anymore. Person wanted it back even though they told me it was a gift. I'm really pissed off about that. Then down here we have his sister location. Through FNAF 4 through sister location. I do have his FNAF Pizza Sim sets. I'm so pissed off that I had to get rid of some of those. Because like, person told me it was a gift. You can have them. Then they change their mind later. Then they just, you know, change their mind a year later and say like, Oh, hey, I want these back. Can you give them back to me? So basically what I'm trying to say is like, the person offered it to me at for free because they were moving. And they said it was fan mail, which you shouldn't be obligated to return it at all. Because once it's given to you, it's given to you, basically. It's a waste of time and money to get return stuff, honestly. And it's pretty stupid too, honestly. It really is. If you want to, you know, if you want to send fan mail to me, it's canceled at the moment. So like, um, yeah. Person fucked me over. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, here's a McFarlane set that I own. All right, down here is the snaps. We have his basic, just wave one of the Secret Breach snaps. We have waves one, two, and three of the basic Five Nights at Freddy's core games. With me and FNAF 1, FNAF 2 and 3, FNAF 4 and Sister Location. Alright, then we have God Coffin. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Helpy Plush. Then over here we have is Toy Chica, Foxy, Sister Mary Toy Bonnie, and Toy Freddy Inverted. The AR System Air or whatever Arcade Mayhem Inverted Plushies. Down here we have Fight Line and the Pins with Chocolate Bonnie. Popsies. Yes, I still need to open the main set. I do have it. It's just like currently like put put in somewhere. I don't remember where I put it, but like, it's somewhere. Just trust me on that. Oh yeah, people are right. His nose is brown for some reason. For Shadow Bonnie. I still need to review these actually. But yeah, we have two a FNAF AR mugs, which I unfortunately got damaged because the chair fell on it. Down here we have is the ugly Freddy jump scare in a box made by Funko. Then we have the amazing flaw cross plus trap by Xmart. Then behind here we just had the box for a backpack hanger, which I'm probably never gonna buy again because those things are a huge gamble and they're super rare and hard to find for some stupid reason. Foxy and Lefty statue. That's basically it. I still need to review these. I said I was gonna review them over a year ago and I haven't. We have the Foxy collectible statue and Lefty collectible statue. I need to review these. These are supposed to be reviewed for a 10 year anniversary, but I've been really going through so much that I couldn't really, you know, review them because, like, I've been depressed and my parents have been in the way of stuff. Going down one we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's AR section. This is the holiday based stuff. And then a little frame in back for the AR stuff. And we have all the Funko plushies for the holiday based stuff. I'm repeating myself so much. And we have the candy animatronics with the Katrina Choi Chica you know, like, pin. And again, this section has stayed the same. I'm not going to go over this too much. It has stayed exactly the same. There's really nothing new about it. But I will say is, the mystery minis are in front. Action figures behind those, where you have the pocket pops over here on the sides, and the plushies are in the back. Alright, then over here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's books and stuff like that. Remove this pin because it has a magnet on it. Uh, I'll, I'll figure this out later. We have the exotic beverage, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, because I got gypped, and the person wanted their stuff back, which is really frustrating. We have the Five Nights at Freddy's official character encyclopedia, all the books I own. We have the Five Nights at Freddy's Pop Ghost pin set, Halloween Pop Ghost pin set, and Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted pin set. Then over here we have is Freddy, Chica, and Mr. Cupcake for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie from Dave and Buster cards. I got these on eBay for like, I think, five-ish dollars. Then going down one more, we have is the Balloon Circus. 
we have is Freddy, Foxy, and Chica out of Balloon Kids. And for Circus Clowns, we have is the Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy. We have Balloon Foxy and Balloon Freddy. Then we have the Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy action figures on the sides. And in the middle, we have is the action figures for the clown animatronics. Then in front, we have all the mystery minis, excluding low and dark toy chica not toy chica oh my gosh i keep messing up with that clown chica it's like i have everyone else just not clown chica she's been incredibly hard for me to find out have all right then for the last section for the main bookshelves we have is the five nights at freddy's fan verse initiative we have hop goes candy blake and an ignited freddy and Ign ignited foxy those are basically all the plushies for this lineup of stuff let's move on to the more miscellaneous stuff now all right again I'm not going to show you my closet because that's weird but we have the five nights at Freddy's jump 26 inch boxy good stuff pink Freddy good stuff no nah, good stuff Funko Funko's 18 or 16 inch Freddy then we have the Foxy from good stuff sister location back sister location backpack the Five Nights at Freddy's Spring Trap shirt, which I'm not going to wear. I'm probably going to frame it. All right, so for the people wondering where my jumbos are at, they're currently in the closet because I have nowhere else to put them. So, like, I'll get, I'll get a plastic shelf for these, and I'll just plop them in here. Got to move some stuff, and I got to move that door out. Then after that, it should be good, but don't quote me on it, honestly. All right, then over here we have this Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy statue that's for a 10-year anniversary. Down here is a Five Nights at Freddy's Secure Breach Vanny and Vanessa statue box. Yes, I know I broke it bad on me. Then over here is more of overflow, I would call it. I really need to put these somewhere where I don't have them on the floor. We have is the YouTube Spring Trap Plush, which I just recently reviewed sometime, probably like last month. We have Vanny, Spring Colorway Edition. We have the YouTube, not YouTube, the good stuff. Glam Rock Chica. Then over here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's Fight Line set. Nothing much, honestly, just the main four plus with some extra accessories. Then up here we have is, I'm just adding on to this at the moment because like, I don't know where to put this yet because it's still sealed. I need to get the figures out. We have is the Five Nights at Freddy's 2023, 2024 piece advent calendar. Ignore the stuff around in here, I still need a vacuum, but we have is the Circus Baby plush from Five Nights at Sister Location, this is the one that's from GameStop, and we have the Toy Bonnie plush that snaps inspired for Five Nights at Freddy's. Then Jumbo helped me buy the vacuum cleaner. Alright, then to cap things off, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's Pops, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's backpack hangers that are the plush based ones. I don't even know what's in our hair, honestly. Hopefully it's just a piece of, you know, belt or whatever. Okay, so we have is a little bit. Nightmare Freddy Glow in the Dark with the Glow in the Dark Eyes. Circus Foxy, he's me for real. Then we have the Finance Freddy's Golden Freddy. River to Bonnie, Dark Spring Trap, and Jump Scare Fun to Foxy. Then we have the Backpack Hangers, which is Freddy, Chica, Monty, and Roxy. But yeah, I think that's practically it. If I do update this room, it's going to be like this section down here is going to be Christmas, suggested by one of my friends who's not really actually a friend, I would say. But yeah, we have the Five Nights at Freddy's full collection of the Five Nights at Freddy's, of my merch of my Five Nights at Freddy's collection. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.